All right, so uh, what up, guys? Uh, so this is gonna be my third time recording this, and uh, uh, it's kind of annoying. So I was using Fraps, and so I needed to just record my audio video, and Fraps just wasn't recording the whole thing. And Sony Vegas was being really laggy, so I went ahead and downloaded Camtasia Studio, and uh, their products are really good, so if you need to ever use it, it's actually really simple to use, so I recommend downloading it and using the product. So, anyway, today I'm going to teach you guys how to basically use Sony Vegas for, like, not really editing, but, like, just, like, combining clips, like, like pushing them together and making it look, like, really nice and smooth, and some fade in, some fade out with the music, and how to trim and uh, stuff like that. So we're going to shoot for this, and uh, it looks kind of crazy if you're going to need a Sony Vegas, but it's actually really, really simple. So we're going to go ahead and open up a new Sony Vegas thing, and uh, this might take a little over. Okay, I'm Alright, so we're going to import our clips. Open desktop. Where you got clips? Uh, I gotta import all my clips, so hold up. Oh, some places. No, I didn't mean that. Oh god. Import that. And we're gonna import the last clip. Alright, so we're gonna scroll out. And to do that, you just scroll up on your mouse. And you're gonna figure out where your first clip is, or where you wanna uh, combine the clip. So this could work for anything really, if you're a commentator. And uh, you wanna, you had a little mistake in the middle of your commentating, like say I was commentating from right here, and the mistake was from right here to right here, and I cut it out. So to fade it in, I'm just gonna drag it in. I usually drag it till it says one second. Right around fine, you don't have to aim perfectly. Wink wink. And uh, so make sure you have these four tools on. I think this is the one, automatic crossfades. Yeah, this is it. So uh, control shift X or just click on it. And uh, I, rem I recommend that you have all these tools on too. So, you do you boo boo. And so I'm going to do this for every clip. Drag it in until it says, or drag it until it says one. And that's, that's it. I only have to do those two. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as uh, the little cool editing effects go. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut out like a certain part if you wanted to. So notice how like when if, if you're a trick shot, you know when you hit a trick shot, and in between it says the match bonus and stuff like that. Or if like you're uh, a commentator and you wanted to cut out like a, a you had like a little death streak and you wanted to cut that out. So say your death streak or whatever started here, you're gonna hit S and you're gonna drag to wherever uh, you don't wherever you want to cut out, so let's say, uh, the death streak ended right here. So this, okay, hold up, my feet is being a bit laggy. So this right here is the unwanted, uh, this right here is the unwanted footage. It's either a death streak, uh, it's taking up too much time in your video, whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight it or you can just click it. Either way, they both highlight. Right click and cut. And you're going to drag this, this thing here. One. So I'm going to end up rendering this out. Oh, wait. There's my three. Okay. I'm going to end up rendering this out and uh, I'll show you guys the final product of uh, what we did here today. So uh, next I'm going to show you guys how to play around. So, <laughs> so I'm going to click on color curves. Now, I recommend you render your project first, make sure you have everything all set up, all the music and everything, which I'll show you how to do in a little. Before you do this, well, I'm just going to do this right now just to show you guys. So I'm going to drag it into this one, since my curves is already there. So you're going to drag it right here, color curves. And then it's just going to allow you to play with the brightness of the video. So if you want to put it all the way up here, which I don't recommend you do. If you want to, you know, low flash. And, uh, to do, like, keying, keying is, like, when you start to flash and stuff like that. Uh, I don't really feel like showing you guys, because it, it's, it's not hard to explain, but it just takes a little while. Show me next weekend. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so this is what the clip would look like, the color. 
And if you don't like that, you know, you can always hit move selected plugin, and boom, it goes back to normal. You can just exit out of that. And uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is transitions. So, uh, Sony Vegas, I think, has some really cool uh, transitions, and After Effects also has super cool transitions, but. So, you just like, can kind of scroll through and look at some of these. And instead of like fading in like this, like instead of doing that, you can always just use a transition. But I love the fading or the the automatic cross fading. That's what it's called, cross fading. So I'm gonna call it that for now on. I love the cross fading like effect. It just looks really, really smooth. So um, yeah, just like you pick one and you drag it in between the clips. So I'm gonna drag it and uh, I don't really care for any of this stuff. Oh, then you're like, let me see what that looks like. So it just like kind of scrolls in from the top. Alright, okay, so I'm sorry that that was so laggy, I just forgot what every editor should do when they're working on their project or whatever. You want to go to this thing right here, preview quality, you want to go to draft and quarter. Can't believe I forgot about that. That's going to make quality look terrible, but don't worry, when you render it, it'll be perfectly fine. This is just for editing purposes. So we're going to, we're going to look at what it looks like. See, it's just a little... I mean, it looks okay. I still prefer the other thing. So, to get rid of this, I guess we would just scroll out, find it, click on it, and you select the plugin. There you go. Alright, so now we're gonna we're gonna get our music up in here. So, uh, shout out to Benny B. He's an awesome uh, music writer, or whatever you want to call him, artist. So, we're gonna use his song. So, notice how in the beginning of this song there's nothing like for however many seconds and so you're gonna go where the audio for the music first starts where the audio start peaking and you're gonna hit S and this is really good for dubstep songs if you ever want to find the drop you're gonna hit S and you're just gonna hit cut you're gonna drag this back into your project and uh, you don't want your video to be 2 minutes 59 seconds long when you only have 30 seconds of clip 30 seconds of clips. So you're gonna cut out the music hit S like right here. Right where uh your um what's it called? Your clip or your video ends with the audio. So you're gonna cut that out. And now we're gonna fade in and fade out. So music usually takes a little bit longer to fade out, so I'm gonna go to about eight seconds. No, uh, we'll do seven. And then for this we'll do five and just so you know you just click that little top you wait for the little um where is it at oh, can i get it oh okay this is over there see this uh see that little shape i don't know what to call it right now i guess uh whatever and when you get you get it from going to the top corner you're just gonna drag it to like four or five seconds and you're gonna do the same in the beginning except a little bit shorter because you don't want it to take too long to fade in I'm going to go to about 2 seconds, and I'm going to do this to about 4. I will do 5. That's pretty much it, guys. It was actually really easy. So, um, let's say you wanted to commentate over this. Super, super simple if you ever want to commentate in Sony Vegas. But I, I kind of I have to warn you now, it will be laggy sometimes. And frames will script, uh, skip. So you're going to go into this little blank area where my mouse is. You're going to right click and you're going to hit insert audio track. And then you're going to hit arm for record. And then this little red button here just to start recording. I'm not going to click it because I'm already recording with Camtasia Studio. So that's pretty much it guys. And then you're going to hit file and render. And I have, you can look up videos for your own custom templates, but uh, I have my two custom templates that I use and one's quickest render settings and one's best render settings and I almost never use my best render settings video 
because if you don't know sony vegas usually takes a little bit or not a little bit a lot bit <laughs> a long time to uh render so look at like 720p render settings on youtube and i'm sure you can find a video of that that's pretty much it guys uh i hope you enjoyed uh you know if you want me to do more if you did like this commentary let me know if you want me to stop let me know if this was bad and you didn't really understand anything let me know but don't don't troll like be serious about it so uh yeah i guess that's it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed and uh have a nice day <laughs>